What is going on guys welcome back to another video this video is actually not the one i wanted uploaded this week i had a whole cool video planned of me going through like a day of my life of training and then heading over to class at asu for the first time in like over a year and a half I filmed like a whole day a whole half day of it and then ended up forgetting my battery at home when i was going to class so that kind of sucks that's gonna wait till next week but nonetheless we're improvising adapting overcoming still getting a video out this week yeah i want to keep this short i want to keep this sweet and kind of provide you guys some value along the way the title of this video my snatch has been improving quite a bit lately within the last few weeks now i'm not talking number wise i didn't take trimbolin and all, all, all of a sudden i'm snatching 160 kilos no i'm just talking about improvement in general i'm talking about how easy my higher percentages feel how they look and i feel like i'm reaching another level of technical proficiency and not only that um, I'm, I'm hitting higher percentages quite more often in the snatch. And I've been trying not to get caught up in numbers and just focus on improving in general because when I feel like if I, if I take that approach, I feel like the numbers will just kind of come naturally. And this is the approach I've been taking since um, nationals in June. And I think it's really been paying off. One of the things I've been really focusing on is Kobe Bryant explains this really well. I don't want to be cliche here, but they're asking him, you know, what, how, how are you so good? How are you have all these skills and whatnot? And in one clip, he was explaining how he doesn't get bored of fundamentals and he doesn't skip over them and he doesn't take them lightly. And for us and our sake in weightlifting, the fundamentals are probably, I'd say, the bar progressions. When you're first warming up and you have the bar, Make sure you do all your progressions. I know once you get a few years in, I went through this phase two of just kind of quickly going through the bar, quickly going through your warm ups, and then only really caring when you get to your working sets. However, that's not the case at all. You need to make sure you move the bar and just the bar very well, very proficiently, and take your bar progressions seriously. Do them with intent, and I promise you the rest of your workout will flow a lot better. The second thing I've been doing is I have been focusing a lot more on my mobility. Ankle mobility for me is probably my biggest challenge, so I've definitely been honing away on that, as well as your thoracic mobility, because you really need to be in a solid overhead position um, when you're catching a snatch. And I also noticed my bottom position was lacking. I tend to take a few reps where I just sit in the bottom for five, 10 seconds. Um, I've also been doing a lot of mobility to better my bottom position. So I'm comfortable down there. The thing I've been doing is I signed up for barbell mobility. It basically takes 10 minutes a day and then it's only like 11 bucks per month after that. So very cheap. And then just give you a list of exercises to do every day to work on your mobility. And I figured why not? I need to work on it. I'm no way sponsored by them or they, they didn't tell me to say this. It's just something I've been doing and kind of want to recommend to you guys because I've been enjoying it so far. I've been using it for like two weeks and who knows, um, maybe I'll make a video about this in the future. And even if you don't want to go to that route, out, just kind of figure out what part of your body you need to work on to be able to get into more mobile positions and there's countless and endless resources on the internet now that you can just look up exercises or stretches for that area and if you do them daily you're gonna get more mobile like I don't really see an excuse for this third thing we're gonna get into some more exercises I've been doing uh, this is gonna be very general this hasn't been like one single exercise it's been more of a combination of things um, the first thing is pulls. In the past, I really haven't been able to push my pulls too much because if you guys know, I've had previous back injuries, but um, we have been doing a lot more pulls, especially snatch pulls recently, and I think these have paid off tremendously. Um, especially one I've been doing weekly. I'll put a video up. This has been helping me tremendously with confidence and strength in my pool. And not only guys, when I'm performing this exercise, I'm not just doing it, I am trying to control it. Whether it's 70 kilos or 145 kilos, kilos um, I am trying to absolutely control it contract all the right muscles and imagine that it's going to feel that way when I am going to put this over my head again guys not just going through the motions but intent is super important as well another thing guys is I don't know if this is just me 
Some days I notice when I have um, a technical spin-off of the snatch, say like a power snatch or something from the hang or block, I feel a lot better than just doing a snatch. Or like say you get to the gym and you just warm up and go straight to snatching. Sometimes they do not feel all that great. And I think this is because I'm not fully primed. So one thing I've been doing when I do have just strictly snatches after warm up is um, I've been taking a few extra warm up sets, whether it be to do powers, uh, like I'll power one, say the next one I'll do one from below the knee, the other one I'll do from above the knee, another one I'll do muscles. Just really take the time between like 50 kilos and 110 kilos to really feel the movement and make sure I'm warmed up. And then of course, some of them I'll sit in the bottom position for five to, five to 10 seconds. And I feel like when I've been doing this, um, I feel a lot more primed, I feel more warmed up. I feel like I have better neuromuscular control over my body when performing the movement. Now guys, we can't end there. We always have to find something to work on. So here it is. Um, for me, it's going to be mental blocks. Uh, last Friday, in fact, I had 134 kilos on the snatch, four three singles for my working sets. Did everything I was talking about earlier. Um, felt great, nailed the first one. After that, got in my head. I don't know why. Mental blocks are a very hard thing to explain and they're also a very hard thing to get over. Second one I missed made it up wasn't as pretty pretty ugly and then i could not make my last attempt at 134. i attempted it um a great number of times went back down came up to reset and i i had at least 20 attempts between 130 and 134 that day and the thing is they didn't feel heavy i wasn't tired out and in fact i felt like i was kind of manhandling i was over pulling and then i would under pull the next one i just i just couldn't put it in the right spot which is very frustrating and the thing that is even more frustrating when i'd go up to 130 i was totally unfazed did it sat down like it was nothing get to 134 and then the doubt starts creeping in just the fact that it's 134 creeps in like it's i'm gonna need to figure out a way to not attach a number to a certain weight i know that's weird but i hope that makes sense but it's just it's just weight like i'm totally physically capable of doing it but just because there's a number behind it it psychs me out and i really need to get over this mental block i need to try various things such as like visualization and when it comes down to it just making the lifts because when you make the lifts the uh, your confidence goes up with that weight and you know you can do it because right now i really feel like i'm physically capable in the 140 range but i just need to get my head out of my ass so that's gonna be all for today. I just, I just wanted to give you guys some ideas if you guys have been having trouble with your snatch. Maybe try some of these things out. Try some different exercises. Approach the weight in a different way. But thank you all for watching. If you're new, hit that sub button. We still have a few Suck Less shirts in stock. Suck Less. Thank you for lifting with us in the back. Uh, speaking of which, I have not checked the Instagram for that in a few weeks. So I should probably do that because my notifications are off. If you guys want to cop one, just DM me at shopsuckless on Instagram and we'll figure out how to get it to you. We'll see you guys next week. Thank you all again for watching. Thank you all for your support. Y'all are amazing and we're out.